So in our 2018 Toyota Prius, you're going to be taking a look at, I'm going to show you how to install the Kurt Class 1 trailer hitch receiver, part number C11473. So what our hitch looks like when it's installed. You can see the cross tube is completely hidden behind the bumper fascia. The only thing you can see is the receiver tube. And it sits nice and flush with the edge of the bumper fascia, so you don't have to worry about hitting your legs or your shins on it when loading and unloading the back of the vehicle. This is gonna be a class one hitch. It's gonna be inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter. You can see it has a nice reinforced collar to give you a little extra stability on the receiver tube. Keep in mind that does not change the weight capacity of the hitch. Your safety chain loops are gonna be a rolled steel style. Gives you plenty of room for different size safety chain hooks. Your hitch pinhole is gonna be half inch in diameter. This hitch is gonna have a nice black powder coat finish, so it's gonna resist any rust or corrosion. It's gonna stay looking nice for a very long time. Now, as far as weight capacity goes, this is gonna have a 200 pound max tongue weight, which is a downward pressure on the inside of the receiver tube. It's gonna have a 2,000 pound max trailer weight, which is a trailer plus a load included. I do recommend checking the owner's manual of your Prius to make sure the vehicle can withstand that amount of weight. You wanna go with the lowest number between the vehicle and the hitch. Keep in mind, Kurt does recommend the use of stabilization straps for any non-wheeled loads. Now let's give you a few measurements to help you when deciding on any hitch mount accessories you may need, such as a bike rack or cargo carrier. From the center of the hitch pinhole to the outermost part of the bumper will be about two inches. From the ground to the top innermost part of the receiver tube will be about 13 and a half inches. Now let's show you how to get this installed. We're gonna start by removing 14 pushpin fasteners from along the underside of our bumper fascia. Take a flathead screwdriver, push it in like that, and just pry out the center. Once you have your fasteners out, you're gonna have some underbody panels here that we need to pull out. Now it's a little hard to see, so I wanna pull the panel down. But these are also gonna be attached. If you take a large flathead screwdriver, put it in there like that, this is attached to a screw. Turn it, kind of put a little bit of pressure, down pressure on it, you'll be able to pull those off. We're gonna have four bolts that attach our bumper beam. Take a 12 millimeter socket and we're gonna remove those bolts. Next, what we need to do, is we need to take our bumper beam, push up, and then back like that. Next, we need to pull out our fascia. And we're gonna go up and we're gonna take these clips off for this wiring that's holding this lower piece on. We'll take a screwdriver and you're gonna push in on each side. Just like that, and push it up. Next, you're gonna have a small Phillips screw on the bottom corner of each side. Go ahead and remove that. And then each clip, we're just gonna push out like that until we get enough room to get our bumper beam out without damaging our fascia. Just like that. Like that. Now, each tab that we had wiring on, we're gonna push in. There's a little tab right on the top. You're just gonna push down. It's like a locking tab. I'll go ahead and pull this off. This tab that was holding our bumper beam against the back part of our cabin, we need to flatten that out. We'll just take a hammer. We need to do that on both sides. Now with an extra set of hands, we're gonna get our hitch put right behind our bumper beam. And we're gonna bolt it into the same place that we took it out of. We're gonna use existing hardware. You get a couple bolts in on each side. That'll hold it in place. Once we get our hardware in place, go ahead and tighten it all down. Once we get it all tightened down, then we're gonna torque it down to the specifications and the instructions. Next, we're gonna reinstall our bumper fascia. We're just gonna line up our clips. 
Now we can reinstall the Phillips screws. That's what we're gonna do is we're gonna test fit our panels and along with our instructions, we're gonna go and find where we need to cut out. As you can see, this one is hitting their hitch right here. Go ahead and pull this one back out. Next, you can use a utility knife. Uh, I'm gonna try using a pair of scissors and we'll cut that out. This plastic's pretty flexible, so looks like a pair of scissors is working just fine. Now I'll take my utility knife. Okay, now I'll test fit it again. Looks like we'll be good on that panel. Now we can go ahead and get our push pin fasteners put back into place. So you can see where our hitch is gonna come through like this. Take our utility knife. Test fit this, make sure we got enough cut out here. Reinstall your push pin fasteners. That'll do it for a look at an installation on the Kirk Class 1 trailer hitch receiver, part number C11473 on our 2018 Toyota Prius.